So, as they take me home, I'm managing to gather some very interesting information about them and Roderick. Roderick has been friends with Drew since they were little. Ward joined their group in high school and Mackie, Ben, and Chris soon after. Only Drew is a part of the band, while the others are just their fan club or something. Bill is the guitarist and the lead singer of the band, and was invited after meeting Roderick in line at his show or something. All of Roderick's friends seem to like him, but it seems like he doesn't really want to hang out with them that much, probably because of the age differences, which is good, I think. Honestly, what impressed me the most was discovering that he had a job. Dad always told me that that guy was unemployed and didn't know what to do with his life. I also wanted to understand why he continues to live with his grandmother, but they couldn't answer me when I asked. Something important to mention as well, they don't seem to know what's going on at home. I imagine that Roderick had mentioned it to them, at least some of them, but that's not the case. I can't say if that's a good thing or not. So Greg, did you discover everything you wanted? Oh, I think so. I just have one more question. What's the beef that Roderick has with those guys? They seem to get angrier when they found out I was his brother. Fuck, man. Let me tell you that I don't even know that much. Pete teased everyone when he was a kid. We weren't his main targets. But then Roderick started showing up all beaten up and he told me that Pete and his friends were beating him up outside school. Worst of all, he was a coward. He never tried anything when Roderick wasn't alone and then acted like he hadn't done shit. But then everything changed in middle school. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I mistook you for a trash can. Y'all haven't found a table yet? <sighs> Let's just leave already. Yo, Pete. Huh? Ugh, what's your problem? You broke my nose! Why did you do that? You're crazy! He almost got expelled, but thanks to your parents, they managed to convince the principal that he was being bullied by Pete. My son would never hurt someone for no reason. Obviously, something triggered him to do it, and he's coming home with bruises for a long time. That's a lie. I never laid a finger on that boy. Roderick, is it true what your mother is saying? Yeah, yes, sir. It really wasn't the only time that Pete Hosey was accused of making bad jokes at our students. He just didn't imagine he would cross the line. We apologize for the inconvenience, Mr. and Mrs. Heffley. Pete, you're going to spend three days in detention to think about what you've been doing to your classmate. We're going to have a long talk when we get home, you hear me? They've been avoiding each other as much as possible ever since. Every time they bump into each other, it ends in a pretty fucked up fight. I think it was a good thing that all this happened. I mean, I only went to meet Roderick that day. I thought it was really hardcore that he beat up that guy. Yeah, but anyway. Hey, Mackie, we need a guitarist in the band. Are you interested? Shit, man. I don't know if I can. I'll see if I have time, okay? Update. He not only hides it from them, he also lies.